Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you from my bubble tub in my master bath. And it's time that I show you how I do long-term water storage. It's very, very simple. You don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment, but what you do need is something to store the water in. My weapon of choice are these Reliant 7-gallon containers. They're marked right on there for water only. You'll also need a little bit of bleach. And it's very important that you use regular bleach. You don't want scented or anything else in that. And you also need what I use. Well, you don't need this, but what I use is Aquamir water treatment. And this is a two-part system. Get it out here. A part A and a part B. You simply mix these two together. Put that into your water. Shake it up a little bit and you're ready to go. But first we got to clean this out. Even though I picked this up this morning and it should be nice and clean, I'm still going to rinse it out. What I do is I put a little bit of water in there and a little bit of bleach, maybe about a capful. I don't bother with measuring everything. Put the cap on and then shake it so every square inch inside this container, including the underside of the cap, gets coated with that bleach water. I pour it out and there were some little little bits of plastic down in there. So I'm going to do this again. And I don't worry about getting wet. I get just as wet when I take a shower or a bath. little water, a little bleach, get the cap on tight, and shake it. Pour that water out. Look fairly clean. Now I'm just going to do a rinse. Like I say, I don't care if I get wet or not. They're a little bit more scrap plastic came out so this is why you want to rinse them out good to get any foreign debris that's in there out any chemicals that might have been residual from the manufacturing of it and that came out really really clean so The next step is to mix the two parts of these uh, water purification tablets. The only problem is it says uh, seven drops per quart. And that's the only uh, instructions it gives you. It doesn't tell you how to come up with to treat three gallons or four gallons or five gallons or in this case seven gallons. It doesn't give you that. But what I found out and I was able to determined was a half a cap of this little mixing container. Instead of doing just drops, I use a half a cap. And 
and it takes quite a while to get a half a cap out of these things. But that's about a half a cap of the part B. It doesn't really matter which order you put them in. Here's cap or part A. And this is something I do on a regular basis. Instruction says to uh, let this set for five minutes to make sure that this is all activated. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling this container up. So all I have to do is pour this in. So I'm going to turn the water on and we'll be right back. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and just pour this right in and continue filling that up. And this is going to take a little bit of time too, so let's fast forward. It's about half full. There is a little air intake here. I go ahead and pull that out so I know when this is getting full because the lighting in my bathroom here isn't the, really made to look down inside of these things. So once I see water coming out of that thing, I know it's time to uh, shut the water off. And there's the water. So this thing is full. I can go ahead and put this cap on. Now, there's a problem I have with these Reliance plastic tubs. Either I don't have the strength in my arms anymore, or there's just no way to really seal these, but I have a secret weapon. That's this right here. This is the rubber that they use on flat roofs, being in the construction trade for a living. I see a lot of big pieces of this thrown away. So I just use it for uh, those grips that you a lot of times you will have in your kitchen to take off lids. I do this. I do the same thing, and this allows me to get a good grip on this, even with wet hands. I close it. Push that back in. I'm going to really give this a good hard crank and I can really get some grip on it with this thing. There is seven gallons of water good for the next four years. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Uh, this is something that everybody can do. You can probably get into this for $40, $50. Very inexpensive to do this. This was like $20. The chemicals are like twenty dollars, forty, forty-five, fifty bucks most. You've got seven gallons of water, potable water, stored away. I'm going to put this back in a back bedroom. That's very, very dark. There's very little light back in there, so it will stay easily for three, four, maybe even five years. I'll probably use it before then. I'll put a date on this, and next time my water is shut off because the city's working on the mains. I've got some water that I can cook and clean with. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail. Now to get this out of here.